So we just made it back to Sonora Pass, um, which is where we got off trail to resupply at Kennedy Meadows um, North Resort, which is different than the Kennedy Meadows right before the entering the Sierra. And it's really smoky and hazy outside from a nearby fire, um, kind of by Yosemite. And it's really affecting the park and the views out here as well. We just arrived at camp after a 19 mile day. Um, which is pretty good considering that we started at 9.30 in the morning um, since we were in town. But yeah, we're hoping that the next section is a little bit easier um, in terrain, not as up and down. Um, we are nearing the end of the Sierra in just a couple days and we'll be in NorCal soon. So hopefully we can start pushing bigger days. We want to be doing 25 mile days just to stay on track and get to Canada as soon as possible. So we're going to wake up early tomorrow and see how far we can go. Today is July 17th. We are about, I don't know, maybe seven or eight miles in for the day. And probably gonna go uh, about 20-ish total, hopefully. Um, just about to stop for lunch, but we were just talking that we passed mile 1000. We still, both of us, uh, don't have trail names. So um, I think it's about time we get some. I guess we just have to do some more stupid things to earn us a name. This is the morning of July 18th, and it's really smoky. So, I woke up a little earlier this morning um, to try to make it to this visitor center at Carson Pass, um, which is 21.5 miles away. Um, the train is kind of up and down though, I don't know how long it'll take us, but apparently there's trail magic there. Yesterday we got really excited because we heard there was trail magic at Ebbets Pass, and then we got there and there was nothing, so that was kind of sad. Um, but yeah, um, Carson Pass is on a major highway, and if um, the smoke affects me like it has the last two days I might go and um we might go to South Lake Tahoe from there which is skipping like 13 miles but yesterday I had a really bad headache all day and um, my lungs hurt quite a bit and the smoke looks worse today but I just don't know if we're walking straight through it or not just kind of settled in the, the valleys and it's thick black smoke, not just like haze. I don't know if you can see it. So today was quite the day. Um, woke up and started climbing. Um, and as soon as we got off the ridge we camped at and out of the trees, it was super smoky. Um, thick black smoke had settled in everywhere. Um, in the valley and we were walking right through it um, and I guess the wind kind of just blew it right where we were walking through but anyways it was really thick and it didn't really affect me at first but later on in the day I got a headache just felt kind of dizzy and lightheaded and it felt like someone was like sitting on my chest 
it didn't feel good and I could tell the air quality was super poor so uh, the next town is South Lake Tahoe which is where I'm at now um, and we still had about 12 or 13 miles to go when it started getting really bad to get to um, camp for the night and then tomorrow 13 more miles to get here but we ended up hitching out at Carson Pass which is 13 miles before South Lake Tahoe um, just because I wasn't feeling good um, and then another hiker we were hiking with wasn't feeling good either so he came as well now we're in South Lake Tahoe and hopefully the smoke clears up a bit um, I don't know it's bad here too so I don't really know what's going on but hiking in the smoke isn't fun and I'm glad to be out of it but I know I mean I'm not really worried about skipping miles I don't really care um, I didn't want to hike and and feel bad and I didn't want to feel sick and I didn't want it to affect my health but I know Nick is a little sad that we skipped um, so I don't know what we'll end up doing riding the lime scooters in South Lake Tahoe back on trail after spending a zero day in south of Tahoe. Um, we stayed one night at the motel and then the next night we stayed with an awesome couple, a trail angle couple named Kristen and Josh and it was amazing to stay in a house, have a real bed and just yeah stay with people that um, are planning on doing the PCT someday, so it was cool to talk trail with them. Um, and they had a bunch of dogs, we got to hang out with them. Now we are passing by Echo Lake. Beautiful lake, tons of people, because it's a Friday, and everybody is out here backpacking and hiking. healthy. Yeah. How many miles should we do? A little under 11. A little under 11. Should camp. Chickens. July 21st in the morning and we just went over Dick's Pass and now we're heading down. We're going to try to do as many miles as we can today. A lot of today is downhill which is really nice but just kind of sad because it's still really smoky. Um, in this area, even though the fire that's causing this smoke is all the way back near Yosemite. So, um, I'm just hoping it clears up because I did feel a little bit woozy coming up the hill to Dick's Pass. And I just want to breathe clean air. We just stopped for lunch about an hour ago. And, um... Right before we stopped, we saw a rattlesnake, which is the first one we've seen since leaving the desert. Um, it was almost probably one of the bigger ones we've seen the whole trip. And then a couple miles before that, apparently we walked right past a bear, but we didn't see it. Some people told us. It was right off the trail, and I guess we just weren't paying attention. But I saw pictures of it, and it was pretty big. So... 
Uh, yeah, but the rattlesnake tells you we're not in the Sierra anymore. And I'm definitely feeling hotter outside and more like a desert landscape again. Um, hopefully it's not too bad. This is camp for July 21st. We did a 23 and a half mile day, or 23.6 or something, um, which is the highest we've done since the desert, so that's cool. We can start hopefully getting faster, increasing our mileage um, to make it to Canada before the snow. So my new found favorite meal has been ramen with peanut butter and it tastes like peanut noodles and then I packed out some spinach because I was craving swimming rama so that's what's for dinner. Morning of July 22nd sunrise over Lake Tahoe. We're trying to get to Donner Pass, which is a 26 and a half mile day. So it's all downhill from here. Today is July 23rd, about 6.30 in the morning. Didn't check in yesterday night because we got to camp when it was dark, but we ended up doing 28 miles, um, and we went to Donner Pass and got, they have a little ski ranch um, grill there, got burgers, and PCT hikers get a free uh, beer or soda, so we took advantage of that, and now... Today, I don't know how many we're gonna do mile-wise, but tomorrow we will reach um, Sierra City, which is our next town stop and next resupply. Feet hurt a little bit today. 28 miles is the longest day we've done so far, um, but the terrain is definitely getting easier, so hopefully we can keep up the pace. So I am currently in Truckee by myself. I have um, been having a rough couple of days or even weeks on trail, I guess. Um, I haven't really talked about it at all on my videos, but ever since um, the Sierra, I've just been kind of having a hard time. Um, staying motivated and staying positive every day. Um, every day is a struggle. Uh, it's hard to find joy in hiking most days. And um, just kind of overwhelming to think about the time and the miles that we still have left to do. And I um, just get overwhelmed thinking about the miles per day we have to do to make it. Canada in time before the snow hits. Um, so I've been dealing with that for a while and every day I kind of just break down at the end of the day and it's been going on too long. Um, so 
today I decided to do something about it. Um, I didn't really necessarily want to go home. I know I'll be really upset with myself if I leave for good. So I decided to come. Uh, I backtracked into town and I'm going to spend a couple days. Um, I'm going to try to get a ride up to Quincy and Nick is still on the trail hiking so if I get to Quincy and stay there he can meet me there in like four or five days. I don't really know exactly how long. Um, and then I will just have some time to think about what I want to do and if I want to continue. Um, but yeah, then if I did want to get back on, I could from from Quincy pretty easily. Um, yeah, it's been tough and uh, it feels really weird to be by myself. But I feel like this is a lot I needed to do um, just for my mental health right now. Um, just to take a break and think. So yeah, I'm at a hostel in Truckee and I'm spending the night here and trying to figure out a way to get to Quincy. When I am out there every day trying to push miles, I don't really have time to enjoy the views and enjoy what I'm seeing and it's just getting kind of monotonous. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's just the halfway blues because I'm almost to the halfway point. Um, yeah, it's been a tough couple of days. Hopefully this break helps. I don't know.